Hey YouTube, uh, this is Chrono16 talking about today, 2012 DA14. Uh, as you, many of you guys know watching this video, this asteroid is supposed to pass very close to Earth on February 15th, 2013. Uh, and in fact, it's going to pass so close to Earth that it's going to pass within the orbits of many of our girosynchronous satellites, if I got that out correctly. Uh, and there's a small risk that it could hit Earth, but according to NASA's data that they have here on this program, Eyes on a Solar System, uh, which can be downloaded uh, under, the, under this video linked to, to this site here, uh, according to the data that they have, uh, they, they're saying it's not going to hit Earth. It's just going to come very close to Earth. So, um, as you can see, using Eyes on a Soul System here, I have this program. It's a free program, by the way. I have it uh, programmed into it here, all the near-Earth um, asteroids that, that, that they have cataloged. Also, it has uh, comets and uh, satellites all on here, too, as well. So, what you want to do is you want to double-click on DA-14 there it zooms in so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to date and time here because we want to go ahead and look at how close this thing will get to earth exactly according to NASA's own data this is not data that I've, I've made up this is NASA's own data uh, saying uh, you know how close this thing is gonna get so what I've done is uh, fast forwarded to February 15th and the time here that you see on screen is in central time zone so that way you can go ahead and correlate your time zones with mine since I'm in the central time zone so since I fast forwarded uh, to February 15th from the current time that I'm in right now it shows uh, there's Earth right there and according to this data it's already past Earth so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda rewind a little bit so what you wanna do is, is you wanna to uh, put your cursor over DA14 right click there and measure distance from is what you want to click on and then you click on earth because you want to measure the distance from earth because we are wanting to see just how close this thing is going to get to earth so as you can see there it's already past earth at 4 or 5 p.m. central time so what we want to do is we want to back it up here we want to go backwards actually I'm going the wrong way there we want to go backwards a little bit because we want to go back to the close approach time of, of, of this thing to Earth. We don't want to go any, you know, further than that. So here we are coming up towards Earth now. The time has been backed up to 1.05 uh, p.m. Central Time. And this is DA-14 approaching Earth. Now all these lines here are different satellites, uh, comets, and other asteroids that's cluttered in this uh, solar system which are there's way more things in the solar system than even NASA has cataloged in here uh, anyway as you can see earth is getting very big in that picture there and there's Australia there and this is the side of the planet that DA 14 will be passing by when it uh, comes close so what you have here is the Indian Ocean and the Southern Ocean here uh, on earth the Southern Ocean and Indian Ocean there so if it were to hit Earth by some wild chance, according to NASA, again, they said it's not going to hit. But if it were to hit, it would probably more than likely hit an ocean. And it would cause a, one hell of a tsunami. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. But uh, according to some data I have here, if it did hit, okay, according to this data, they're saying that it would hit with the force of, um, let's see here, 2.4 megatons of TNT. Okay, 2.4 megatons of TNT if it were to hit Earth uh, when it passes by February 15th. And I want to stress again, they're saying it's not going to hit. So what we're going to do in this video, as we already, you know, as the title of the video, is we want to see how close DA-14 is coming. Okay, so right here on screen, right now it says it's uh, 8,800 plus miles out as it continues to close in. So we're going to fast forward just a little bit here because we want to see how close it comes so as it passes Earth we're down to 8,500 miles now I'm going to speed up a little bit more there Earth is getting very big in that picture there isn't it and as uh, DA-14 comes in 
it comes within 8,092 miles of Earth. 8,092 miles of Earth. Let's go back here. I want to get that. I want to try to get it just right. Okay, I went ahead and paused it there. 8,092.5 miles is as close as it gets. And this is NASA's own data. Okay. And let's look at some of the things on the screen real quick here. Uh, as it passes Earth, um, the International Space Station will be orbiting over uh, Central Asia there uh, in that area uh, as it passes Earth. And you got the Hubble Space Telescope, which looks like it will be going right over Australia down there. And so th this just gives you an idea of how close this thing is going to get. I mean, look at that. Uh, usually these things in recorded history anyway from what I've been able to find don't come this close Now, obviously we've been hit with meteorites and small things all the time but this one is they're, they're, they're estimated to be about 45 kilometers anywhere from 45 to 79 uh, is what they're saying they're not for sure and I'm sure they're gonna ping this thing and scan it as it passes by to see just how big it is but this right here, I just wanted to make this video to show you just how close this thing is coming. And look at all the satellites here inside the orbits of a lot of satellites that this thing will be coming in as it passes Earth. On the dark side of uh, the Earth as it passes, and you won't be able to see it with your naked eye, for those who may ask that question out there. Your naked eyes will not be able to see it. Uh, I'm sure you probably could possibly be able to see it if you have the right equipment, but it's going to be very hard to see as this thing zooms by pretty darn quick on February 15th. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it would look like when it passes, and there you have it. Again, you can get this program by clicking on the link under this video. And if uh, for some of our new viewers out there, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, uh, please uh, click on the subscribe button. It will keep you informed on what's going on up in the heavens and here on earth. Thanks for watching.